Software products today are pretty complex. It takes a lot of like, people to build them from different disciplines. There's always a little bit of lossiness in the transfer of information, but between design and engineering, it's inherently a different language. It's hard to make design just as you can do it in code. It's easy to make wild designs. It's hard to make design that fits into the engineering workspace. There is so much that goes into designing a feature. A static image can only convey so much. So when you build something and an interaction is triggered in your own hands, it's kind of revolutionary. Something that can be like simple is not always simple at our scale. When you want to change some button spacing or you want to change iconography, we are affecting millions of lines of code over 10 products. Instead of having to maintain multiple components for different individual modes, Figma variables allow us to have that applied completely automatically. Being able to literally just like right click mode equals dark or light and just switch between. It's so hard to build the tooling to do that. Now it's just literally a fraction of a second. You can switch between mobile to web without having to manually create different screens for different breakpoints. You save by not having to do things five times over. And it also makes the handover process so much easier. What we're actually referencing now using Figma variables, an engineer can then see how it's realized in code. You sort of have one source of truth from the design system of all the color tokens. This Figma variables feature was so highly anticipated, I actually took a break from my honeymoon to test it out. So if I go back to four years ago, in order to simulate an environment where somebody's watching a TV and replicate all the different variations of remotes, we had to build things in code. It took a lot of time. With the conditionals and all these new features, we condense all those frames into one or two, and we can continuously iterate on these prototypes. We can talk about something in a morning meeting and a couple hours later, I'm immediately able to see it come to life. This window of time for learning is significantly shorter. Very often, while I'm designing something, an engineer will simultaneously be working on it in the live product and will be bouncing back and forth constantly as opposed to like one moment of handoff. Communication is always the kind of the big, big part getting people on the same page about like, what are we like trying to do? How are we gonna like do it? The process of preparing a design for development used to be pretty manual, kind of time consuming. Before, when I made a change on my design, I duplicate my file and annotate with big pointers to say, I've changed this. I don't miss that at all because <laughs> you could make a lot of mistakes. You're not pulling down some files to your computer or chasing things over email anymore. It's much more like a collaborative process. When somebody goes to look, they can just put their mouse over the frame and all the margins will light up and you'll see exactly the number that you need. It's very useful to have plugins that interconnect with our daily tools. We use GitHub, we use Storybook. There's like a much higher level of trust when people are in the same tool and also the information is like much more up to date. The more we've used Figma's tools, the easier it's been and the, I think the more we've gotten out of it. I see the future of Figma in terms of allowing design and code to almost be transparent to one another. It is just the one tool. It's those small things that Figma seems to listen to. It listens to the community in a way that makes it seem like they're actually using their software themselves. 